What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we're here on a black screen. No, we're here on Unison League and we are going to be doing the Apollo Flames of Eternity event, uh, the Scorching Path Paragon. So this is the um, hardest one you can do. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into the video. Um, basically what you want to do is go ahead and get everybody together, obviously, and then once you guys get all together, uh, you want to just take down the monkey first he actually debuffs you uh, and at this point we actually take him down pretty quickly so that he, he wasn't actually able to debuff us um, so here comes our healer comes in uh, Rico comes in and then um, basically what you want to do right here is you can build unison is one strategy you can just leave that uh, fire drake up and then uh, wait until everybody builds unison on that character or you can just keep going um, we do get the uh, Siloth on the second um, go around, so this is actually fortunate for us because the second actual wave is um, a little bit tough. Um, but uh, the Siloth is also tough, so you want to go ahead and pop your uh, unisons. Uh, you're going to do the pretty much the same thing, even if you don't get a Siloth here. You definitely want to pop unisons as soon as you possibly can. Um, we did two Amas, which is very um, like defense heavy. Uh, and if you have a good team, you can just go to uh, Valkyries instead. You don't have to do two Amas, but if you don't have Valkyries, you know, two, two Amas works just fine. Um, basically, what you want to do now uh, that you have your defenses up with the Amas, you want to build up your Unison to get some haste in there. Um, so from this point on, you're just getting your Unison up just to get haste. Uh, and buffs. So haste and buffs is pretty much the way you want to go with this. Um, you could go two Valk, three Haste the whole way, um, or you can go like use Amas if you don't have Valks. Uh, you can use Amas just the same way uh, to use to bolster your defenses, uh, and the DPS will be a little bit lower, but it's not a problem. Uh, use two Amas and then three Haste. Is is your DPS is going to be not as good as if you use two Valks, but your defenses will be higher for those. Uh, I think it's like 30 or, or so seconds that you have the Amas. For this one, you want to kill the Dullhan Captain as soon as you possibly can uh, before he gets that counter attack up. He does have um, the counter attack. And then the previous wave, um, you want to you want to not you want to kill the Lion before he gets his um, his mirror attack up. Uh, the bull is pretty easy, so you just basically want to go ahead and um, do haste all the way through. Uh, obviously, you want to have you want to have haste up most of the time because um, when you have haste up, your unison comes up faster. Uh, your unison gauge just um, goes up quicker if you're getting hit, as well as you're doing damage. So, um, as long as you have haste up, uh, you're gonna get your unison faster. So that's just always like kind of like one of the rule of thumbs to bring a haste monster to these um, battles, um, these, um, what do you call it, the events. So you want to have like a bunch of different types of monsters, like one Valk, one Haste, and then like whatever type of monster is specifically good for that run, like say for this run it would be Amma. So one Haste, one Valk, and then one Amma would be nice for this run, uh, no matter what class you are. So um, basically, the the what we're trying to do here is, as you can see, I popped the haste in the last second because I saw that somebody put a Valk up, somebody put a haste up, somebody put a Nemean up. The best outcome for that for PVE is just to uh, go with the haste. So that, that's why I put the um, that's why I put the uh, Goblin up at the last second, uh, and that's why it's good to have a multitude of different types of elements as uh, on your runs here. Uh, in the event runs. So again we get another Siloth. Um, this is again fortunate for us. Uh, however he does do a lot of damage so you just gotta be careful um, for that. He does a lot of AoE damage. Uh, he does more damage than the boss I think of the last uh, the last boss. So yeah he's doing um, his attacks, Esperanza, his like final attack. He's doing a lot of AoE damage but we already have Valks up. Uh, so we have the defense, and we have eight magic defense. Remember from the Nemean that was popped earlier. Um, this guy does do uh, debuffs as well as confuses. So what I'm doing actually is kind of um, 
I'm going to go ahead and pop my haste out so that we can have haste for the boss that's coming up next and then we actually have our defenses up for this guy right here because he will debuff you um, constantly as well as confuse you one thing I like to keep on my character for this is actually a cure you can put a cure or a recover anything that's really gonna heal as well as take off the either unison uh, prohibition or like a confused so look watch for uh, this guy his, his this Ignis will actually use berserk and you wanna look at your healer uh, for when he's gonna use that uh, go ahead and highlight over your healer and then as you can see he's using berserk and then I already popped a heal onto the healer <clears throat> meaning that if he were to get confused my heal would already had taken it off because I pre healed it um, the reason you do this is because your healer if he's confused or anything's wrong with your healer you will most likely die so that's why I put a pre heal on him so that if he's gonna get confused it's just gonna get taken straight off and then he's gonna be able to heal up the party and take off all the other debuffs on everybody else so for this right here um, the bird was popped by uh, Rico. The bird is very good because it you know prevents any deaths. But if you don't have a bird, that's fine. You can just pop two Amas here in the very beginning, or you can just uh, wait until he's like half HP, then pop two Amas. Then when he's um, lower, you can pop three Amas. That that'll be fine. But um, as for right now, we're just DPSing as hard as we can. And we now we have, I, I you can see I have my uh, unison, but I'm not using it. I'm waiting for him to buff himself, or for him to get uh, lower. So there it is, he buffs himself now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pop my ammo, because since he's buffed, um, he's gonna do more damage to himself if he, if I put my ammo. And sometimes we balance it, sometimes we don't, depending on uh, the healer. If he feels like he can heal through it, or if he feels like he can't heal through it, he'll balance it or not balance it. Um, so yeah, I put the ammo up as he had his buffs up, and that's a good way to do it. He's going to start bursting damage right now, so he's going to start bursting himself. So my sunshine, that does damage, so um, we basically just, just rocked him right there, just killed him with uh, high DPS. But that's how you kind of want to play it, guys, like, uh, save your ammo. Don't put five ammo up at once, because the ammo... Uh, it's like 30 seconds or something and then the actual timer for the yellow unison is going to run through um, and it'll be like 15 seconds so you'll only really last like 15 seconds for your ammo there so just be careful for that guys and again with this Ignis guy you want to be um, pre healing your your um, healer here just to make sure that uh, he's not getting um, he's not getting confused as you can see right there the cure goes out and then it would have been perfect right on top of him so like as as the um, berserk goes out just make sure you're already like as you can see I have the cure going right now his berserk has just went out my cure is already gonna go so there's no way I'm gonna get confused and then uh, it's already on see like the the confuses would be say if that he got confused Rico got confused it would already he would already be confused right here just like how I am confused just like this but instead of healing myself, it goes onto Rico here, and then right at this point, right there where the where the um, the heal goes, he would be good to go. So his dignity wouldn't be like uh, what he's casting right now, and his heart of health procked on wouldn't be um, uh, confused. So he wouldn't be like you know confused attack on someone, and uh, basically his dignity goes off, and we all go back to full HP. So that's one uh, important part about it, and then, yeah, like I said, guys, uh, popping the ammos at the correct times, not popping them all at the same time, uh, kind of putting two at the beginning is good, and then three uh, in the middle, or you can do two at the beginning, two in the middle, and then two at the end, like as as the uh, Apollo kind of attacks your uh, single target attacks, like I think it's called like arrow or snipe or something, but he single target attacks you, so two in the beginning, two in the middle, and two in the end is good. Um, or you can do like two in the beginning and then three at the very end. That's not th not too bad, but yeah, two 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 is good for all, all ammo pops. That'll be good for your healer. You, your healer should be able to heal through that. Um, so yeah, that's about it for that, guys. I hope that helped you out with um, the Apollo run. I hope to give you some um, clarification on that. And then um, basically, uh, yeah. Um, 
I think that's it. Uh, definitely go ahead and check out my comments and uh, subscribe if you guys can. Tell me what you guys want in the next video. I will be coming out with a spawn video very soon, so uh, check that out. It'll be in my channel. Uh, definitely, if you guys can, go ahead and donate. That would be awesome. And I'll see you on the next one. As always, thank you for watching, and take it easy. Peace.